Integration Objects is pleased to demonstrate how you can install and use our OPC UA Server Simulator. This free product was designed to simulate real-time and historical data using a configurable set of tags and values. To install the OPC UA Server Simulator, right-click on the downloaded installation package for OPC UA Server Simulator and select Run as Administrator from the displayed menu. The installation wizard will be prompted to guide you through the different steps. Once the installation is completed, make sure to check the Install OPC UA Local Discovery option to install the OPC UA Local Discovery server if you do not already have it. Then, click Finish. Now, we can start the OPC UA Server Simulator. Right-click on the desktop shortcut and then select Run as Administrator. A message box is prompted to notify you that the OPC UA Server Simulator will run for a 48-hour period. This is the free edition limit. When this period times out, you only need to restart the simulator. Here is the main user interface of the OPC UA Server Simulator. It displays the server endpoint URL. You can configure the port numbers and the server name for TCP and HTTPS connections. You can change the update rate in milliseconds, which is the data simulation frequency. You can also configure the security policies and the use identity tokens. For example, we will add a user account. We only have to enter the username and the password. Then, restart the OPC UA Server Simulator for the configuration changes to take effect. Now, we are going to enable the local registration for the local discovery server. You will need this step to be able to browse your local OPC UA servers from the client side. To do so, open the LDS INE file located in this folder. Set allow local registration to yes and save the new configuration file. Then, restart the UA local discovery from Windows services. Now, let us open our OPC UA client. This is also one of our free products. Click on the Connect button and click Discover. Select the UA server endpoint. When first connecting to the simulator, you will need to trust the server certificate. As you can see, the OPC UA server simulator address space consists of two main branches, real-time data and historical data. To monitor real-time data, drag and drop the list of tags from the address space node to the data view. Click OK to create a subscription with the default configuration. Note that by creating a subscription to the real-time tags, the simulator will start keeping a history of the data values for the historical tags. You can also write values to the tags of OPC UA Server Simulator. Right-click on the tag node, select Write, set the new value and click OK. Now, we are going to explore history data. Drag and drop one of the tags to the history view. Configure the start and the end time to read raw historical data. Then, click OK. Let us now reconfigure the CSV files of the simulator. There are two files. 
the address space file and the value space file. These are located in the data subfolder of the installation folder of the OPC UA simulator. To add or modify tags, open the address space file. Now, enter the tag name and its data type. To configure the access write of the tag, use R4 read access only tag and RW to allow read and write access. For the simulated field, use true to configure dynamic tags and false for static tags. Save the new configuration and close the file. To add new data values for the configured tag read, open the value space file, then specify the configured tag name, add the data values, and the status of each value. Save the new configuration and close the file. You can also reconfigure the server names for TCP and HTTPS connections. To apply this new configuration, we need to restart the OPC UA server simulator. Let us test this new configuration using the OPC UA client. After connecting to the OPC UA server simulator, the data are successfully extracted from the CSV files. We can read data for the configured tag read as configured in the value space file. We can also write new data values to the configured tag write. In this demo video, we briefly demonstrated how you can install the OPC UA server simulator, also show how you can easily configure your data simulation via CSV files. Thank you for watching this demo video. If you need any further information, please contact us at customer service at integrationobjects.com.